hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome to show with pediva and if you're a returning subscriber or a returning viewer thank you for sticking to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i made this simple short bubble dress with collar and i achieved the style using two yards of ankara fabric and half yard of crepe fabric so this video is very beginners friendly and very easy to follow so if it's something you are interested in make sure to keep watching and make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful leave a comment subscribe to my channel and also share with your loved ones so these are the fabrics i worked with i have two yards of african prince fabric like i said earlier and for the crepe fabric i made use of half yard and i have my other sewing materials which includes the tape roll my scissors my chalk so let's go ahead now to fold the fabric so we'll be cutting out both the front and the back panels together and i have my fabrics here in a fold of two so the front panel is one yard in a front in a fold of two while the back panel is also one yard in a fold of two but if you want yours bigger or smaller you can work with whatever fabric that you have so i have 18 inches in a fold so when you open it up that is 36 inches so the next thing i want to do is to mark the neckline and the wideness i worked with is three inches so the depth of the back panel is 1.5 inches the back panel is higher while the front panel is three inches because we'll be having an opening in front so go ahead to connect the points together this way and then come over to this opened angle of your fabric and come down by 1.5 inches so this is to form the shoulder slope so i'm going to take 1.5 inches and then connect it all the way down to the wideness of the neckline so this is what we have so from that point i'm going to take my round armhole measurement divided by two so mine is nine inches i'm going to add one extra inch for ease and one inch for seam allowance making 11 inches so i'll mark it there so that is the point where your hand is going to come out through so from this armhole point this 11 inches mark i'm going to come in by 1.5 inches so you can do one inch depending on what you want but i took 1.5 so the next thing is to mark the full length of the dress so the full length of my dress is 37 inches but from the upper part of my fabric i'm going to come down by 39 inches because of the folding allowance at the base so i'll mark 39 inches so from this 1.5 inches that i came out i'm going to just extend it all the way down to the full length of my dress i'll connect it this way so you don't have any shaping to do for this dress so this is basically all let's go ahead to cut it out so before we cut it out i'll just cover out that um armhole corner this way so let's go ahead to cut it out so i'll start by cutting the back neckline first and then i'll take the full bodies so when we separate it we'll cut out the front neckline so i'm going to separate both fabrics from each other and then i'll cut out the front neckline so after cutting out the next thing is to modify the front panel to create that design in front so remember we'll be having a plain fabric in front of this bubble so i'm going to modify the front panel for that so i'm going to take my shoulder to shoulder measurements divided by two so mine is eight inches so i'm going to place my tape pro just before this neckline area this way to mark the eight inches so mark your own there so the next thing is to determine how low you want the um design to be so i'm going to make my one inch below my bust point so my shoulder to my bust point is 11 inches so i'm going to mark 12 inches for mine so this part is totally optional depending on how you want yours to appear so i'm going to connect from this 12 inches now all the way to the 8 so i'm going to just connect that 12 inches all the way to the shoulder area this way and then i'll add another 0.5 inches this is just optional i just wanted it a bit wider than what i have so i'll go ahead to cut it out so after cutting out this is what we have so this um upper part that we cut out is going to be replaced with a plain fabric which is the plain crepe fabric so this is what it looks like so i'm going to use this now to cut out the plain crepe fabric and then i'll show you guys how to attach it to the main fabric so i've used the fabric that we cut out to cut the plain crepe fabric and this is what it looks like so i added 0.5 inches half of an inch all the way around it 
so let me show you guys now how to attach this to your dress so i'll open up my dress this way and then i'll pick the plain fabric and place it on that v point this way and then just use your pins to hold it down so after holding it down take it to your sewing machine and start from that put your needle into um, this center v point then you raise your footer up and then turn the fabric this way to this side put your footer down now and then sew it all the way up so when you are done sewing that part come over to the point again where you started from put your needle into that same point where you started from and then raise your footer up turn the fabric over this way and then place your footer down and stitch it all the way up again so when you are done you're going to have that perfect v shaped um effects that you are looking for if you follow that method so when i'm done attaching the fabric to the um the plain fabric to the ankara i will show you guys so after stitching the two fabrics together using the method that i explained this is what it looks like so when you are done you're going to open up this seam area and then iron it out so when you open it up and iron it the right side is going to appear very neat like it's going to appear very flat so open the seam up and iron it then for this center point you are going to just notch it open so that it relaxes very well on the right side so i'll go ahead to do that i'll go ahead to iron it out so after doing that i'm going to create the opening at the center front so i'm going to fold it into two this way fold the front panel into two equal parts this way and then i'll come down by four inches i'm going to open up that center front all the way down to that four inches mark so after doing that this is what we have then the next thing now is to join the front and the back panels together so i'm going to place the front and the back panels right sides facing each other this way and then i'll go ahead to close up the shoulder area using half of an inch do the same thing for the other side and i will show you guys what it looks like so guys after joining the shoulders together this is what it looks like so i'm going to open it up and also iron the same area and then i want to attach the same plain fabric to the sleeve just like you see on the um thumbnail so i'm going to measure what i have here i have about 20.5 inches so i have cut out my fabric already and this is what it looks like you can see that it fits into that um measurements and the length of the fabric i'm working with is 10.5 inches i'm going to fold in 1.5 inches so i'll be left with 9 inches because we're going to have elastic at the um lower part so i'm going to place it on my fabric this way right side with each other and i'm going to stitch it down i'll repeat the same thing on the other side and i'll show you guys what it looks like so after i attach the fabric to the um sleeve this is what it looks like and I did the same thing for the other side as well. So the next thing I want to do is to close up the sides. So I'm going to place them this way, right sides facing each other. And then I'll use my one inch seam allowance to stitch it all the way down. I'll close up the side using one inch. So when I'm done with that, I'll do the same thing for the other side. So if you want to insert your pocket, you can go ahead to do that now before you close it up. So I'll stitch it all the way down. So when I'm done with that, I'll also finish up the base. I'll fold in one inch twice. And then when I stitch it all the way around it. So when I'm done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, after I closed up the sides, this is what it looks like. So I went ahead to notch the seam on this armhole area, on that curve, so that it sits very well on the right side, just like we always do when we are making our booty dress. And I also finished up the base just like I said earlier i folded in one inch twice so the next thing now is to finish up this um slit in front so you're going to do it just like a normal bias strip finishing i'm going to cut out a long strap of fabric and then i'll place it on its right sides facing each other and stitch it all the way down and then also stitch it on the other side i will notch it and then turn it over to the right side to the wrong side and fold it and stitch it all the way down this is just like a normal bias strip finishing i hope you guys understand so when i'm done i'll also come over to this sleeve area and then i'll fold in half an inch first and fold in one inch and then i'll stitch it all the way around because of my elastic for my elastic casing i'll fold it 
but so i'll do the same thing for the other sleeve when i'm done i'll iron it out and show you guys what it looks like so after i finished all that opening on the neckline this is what it looks like and i have also ironed it this is just a normal bias strip finish and this is what it looks like on the wrong side so the next thing to do is to insert the elastic band so to get the length of elastic band to cut measure where your sleeve is going to stop measure your round arm so for mine i got 12 inches so i'm going to subtract 2 inches from it so my elastic band is going to be 10 inches long without pulling it so from the space i left while i was stitching down i'm going to pass my um elastic band into this into it this way using your pin so when you get to the edge just stitch it down there so it's going to look like this when you are done i'll repeat the same thing for the other sleeve and i'll show you guys what it looks like so after inserting the elastic band you should have something that looks like this so this is the other sleeve so the next thing we want to do is to cut out the collar so you're going to measure what you have all around the neckline starting from this opening go ahead to measure carefully what you have all around back to the other opening just as you can see me doing in the video so for mine i have 19 inches so take note of whatever you have after measuring so let me show you guys now how to cut out the collar so this is the fabric we'll be using as the collar and i'm going ahead to cut it out so to get the length of fabric to cut out for your collar you're going to divide that round that round neckline measurement that you that you measured earlier so mine i got 9.5 inches so i have here 10 inches on fold because i want half an inch as my seam allowance i hope you guys understand so whatever you got after you measure the neckline is what you're going to use as the length of your fabric then you add one inch for your seam allowance and the height of my collar i want it to be three inches so the, I, I have four inches here so half an inch is for the joining on both sides so i'm left with three inches so i'll get the midpoint of that three inches now and then i'll divide the fabric into two So one part is going to be for the collar stand and the other one is going to be for the collar itself. So after dividing, this is what you should have. So I'll come over now to this open angle of my um, fabric, the open angle, and then I'll come in by one inch. So I'm doing a simple cut together collar. It's just a simple collar I use sometimes. So I will just go ahead and blend it in this way and also blend it all the way up and then i would cut it out so you're cutting both the color and the color stand together so after cutting out this is what we have so i'll cut out another piece of this and show you guys so i've gone ahead to cut out another fabric just like the first one so we're going to iron our color stay on one of the fabrics so just iron your color stay to the wrong side on any of the fabrics and then when i'm done with that I'm going to now place them right sides facing each other so using that um, half an inch that we added all around it I'm going to close it up and leave one side opened so that's why that I'm leaving open I'm also going to iron in half of an inch so when I'm done with that you see you see what I'm trying to explain so after I ironed my color stay to one side of the fabric this is what it looks like and this is the half of an inch I said I was going to fold in so i just use my iron to fold it in so before we turn it over to the right side we are going to notch this seam area all the way around this is going to help the color sit very well when you turn it over to the right side so go ahead to just notch it all the way around it this way So after notching proceed to flip it over to the right side so make sure you use a sharp object to bring out all the edges and iron it out so after i turned the collar over to the right side this is what it looks like i've also ironed it out so the next thing we want to do is to attach it to the neckline of our dress so i'm going to just go ahead and insert the opening of the collar into the neckline this way and then i'll use half of an inch to join it just insert half of an inch of that neckline so if you measured your neckline correctly it is going to fit perfectly into this opening now so that's why i told you guys to do it carefully so you just fix in the neckline and stitch it down all the way around it so you can use your pins to hold this down first before stitching to know if you are correct so when i'm done inserting the collar i'll show you guys the finished product of the dress 
so after i stitch the collar to the neckline you can see how it fits in perfectly and i've also gone ahead to iron it out so this is how we end this video for today this is basically all on how to make this stylish booboo i hope you found this video useful and i hope you learned something new please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to my channel share my videos to your loved ones and subscribe if you're here to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye